Hello and welcome to the last one, Barbecue. Let me show you how to cook a whole rack of um, pork chops from a wild hog. First off, you take the rack and then you cut a little slit between each of the bones in the rack and using the back end of the knife, just press down. This is to free up the bones and to kind of compact the meat so that it will cook evenly. It's only got the bones about halfway through the rack and then it's pure meat, so you do the same. Then you season it with uh, I'm using pink Himalayan salt and basil and tomato, my favorite sing simple seasoning. Anyway, um, into the fridge for three hours just to let it soak in. The kettle is running at 350 to 375, hot and fast. And I put three pieces of, of mesquite in there, put the meat on the grate and just let it rock. Anyway. After about 40 minutes, it had reached 98 internal, and this is what it looked like. There you saw my new studio light. It said work light on the sign, but I felt it was a studio light. Anyway, it's looking pretty nice, and I'm just going to leave it on there until it reaches an internal temperature of uh, 70 Celsius and 158 Fahrenheit, just to be safe. Anyway, I reached that and beyond, and it's time to take it in. What I did was I wrapped it in uh, double... Um, foil, a towel, and let it rest for 30 minutes before I open it up. Uh, now it was time to separate the meat from the bones, so what I did was I cut along the, the, the pork bones or the pork chop bones uh, and then just following it down. Well, you can see here I'm starting to use my hand in a second just to kind of separate it. There was actually a little bit of meat left on the bones and we ate them after one. This is what it looked like. A lot more juicy than the ham I made. Anyway, this really turned out nice and it was time for a taste test. There we go. Due to the fact that this is a family dinner, well, I'm just gonna try it. Mm. That is so good. That is really so good. I'm gonna enjoy this. Thank you for watching. Bye.